alimony received. Okay, here we go. So let's see here. Prior to the TCJA, right? Um, it was like the Trump's 2018 tax law changes. The person who is paying alimony gets deducted the amount on their tax return as like an adjustment. Um, and the person that's receiving the alimony has to pay taxes on the alimony received. Now, if you get a divorce and a settlement from the courts after 18, um, most likely you would not report the amount that you get as alimony as income because the person that is paying the alimony does not get to deduct it on their end. Um, so essentially that's how it works. But nonetheless, if you do have a settlement that was prior to 20, shoot, 2018, um, then you still have to follow kind of the old rules here. You know, if you pay alimony, you get a deduction. If you receive alimony, you report income. So that's what we're doing here. Did you receive? Yes, we did receive uh, alimony. And we'll just say, right, how much we receive. Let's say $12,000, $1,000 a month. Date of the original, we'll say 2017, right? Okay. Your, right, this is that 2018 tax law change, right? It was after 18. Okay, continue. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, that's it. So we just reported the income, 12,000 bucks. That's it, done. 